Hey, I'm one of the co-founders of Zorbi, and I'm gonna show you how to become a pro at using the tool. As a quick recap, Zorbi makes it easy to study for tests and exams by predicting how well you know your flashcards. The great thing about Zorbi is that it makes studying easy and efficient as you're only ever studying what you don't know. Before we get started though, it's important to know that these aren't normal flashcards like you might find on Quizlet. As opposed to term and definition flashcards, you should treat these more like practice exam questions for training your knowledge. After a while, you become pretty efficient at creating these cards quickly. So you want to get started by creating a deck. You don't want to split your decks up too much, so I recommend having a single deck for your subject. Call this economics, give it a slick gradient, and let that get created. Cool. Once you're in a deck, you can create some topics for the way you want to structure your flashcards. So I'll go ahead and create one called lecture one, um, lecture two, oh, there we go, and lecture three. Once you're ready to start creating cards, you'll find that the card editor in the app works quite well, but most of our users actually like using our Chrome extension to create Zorbi cards straight from their PDFs, uh, their lectures, or their notes. So I've actually got an economics lecture here from MIT. So we'll open up the sidebar by hitting Alt-Q, and let's open the PDF in Zorbi so we can use our hotkeys. Cool, we'll zoom in, there we go. And we'll adjust the sidebar to be like that. Now, you should never create cards on content you don't understand. First, I'd read through the lecture and at least get a rough overview, and then start creating cards. So there's two main types of flashcards you'll be creating when you're using Zorbi. So I think I'll pick this slide for creating my cards on labor market flows, or measuring labor market flows. So the first type of flashcard is a normal question answer flashcard that you might be familiar with. So we might say, what do we use to measure labor market flows? Well, make sure you select your deck. So we'll pick our economics deck we created earlier and we'll call it lecture one. Cool. Um, and it looks like the current population survey, well, CPS is what we use to measure. Um, if you wanna do this quickly, you can just come here, highlight, highlight the answer and hit send to back. There we go. So we'll go ahead and add that card. Now the second type of flashcard you'll find yourself creating often is called a closed deletion. This is really useful when you wanna memorize certain facts, quotes, or lyrics. So we'll highlight this text again, and I'll hit option A to send it straight to the front. Cool, uh, we'll fix that up there. And now what you wanna do is highlight the section that you wanna remember. So I'll highlight that, and I'll hit Command Shift C. And we'll hit Command Shift C here as well. You can also just hit this I over here. I'll also go ahead and grab a screenshot for this slide and paste it into the back. So push that and paste it there. Once it's uploaded, you can go and hit Command Enter or Control Enter to add that card. Cool, we're all done. And now we'll go back to our deck and check out our cards. So here, you can see that Zorbi tells me I have two cards due today. That's two cards that Zorbi knows I either haven't learned or I'm still learning. And we can hit Start Studying to start a practice session. They can be either timed or you can study all your cards at once. So we'll go ahead and start a five minute session. So what do we use to measure labor market flows? I think it's the current population survey. So hit show answer. Now, if I got the answer wrong, or it was a bit too difficult to remember, I would just hit, I couldn't remember the answer. But I got it right, so I'm gonna hit it was okay. The timer over here says one day. That means Zorbi is gonna show me this card tomorrow. The it was easy option should only really be used if you basically know you're not gonna forget it. Otherwise, I just go with the center option. So hit that. Now this is our closed deletion card. So the current population survey, CPS, is a monthly sample survey of approximately 60,000 households. You can see how this becomes super easy to learn facts and quotes directly. Cool, we got that right. Um, I'm gonna say it was okay. Cool. Now you can see here we've got a check mark. That means that Zorbi knows we've studied all the cards uh, for that day and we have nothing else that it thinks we need to learn today. So I'll hop back in here. You can see that it says I'm all done for the day. I still have the option to study ahead, but we wouldn't recommend using this feature unless you really need a cram for a test or exam. Even then, instead, you should probably create a topic for your test and drag the relevant lectures underneath it. And then you can go ahead and select that topic and it'll, sh it'll let you study ahead for those specific cards. If at any point you wanna do some actions on multiple cards or you realize you assigned cards to the wrong topic, you can just drag to highlight them. You can do some actions up here, reset them, mass reverse them, uh, move them somewhere or freeze them or just drag them to a whole new topic entirely. And if we go into here, now those cards are in lecture three. The last thing you wanna check out is your deck settings. So from the deck settings, you can control your daily limits. This controls the number of new cards you see each day and the familiar cards you see each day. I wouldn't recommend setting the new cards too high, otherwise you'll just get overloaded with heaps of familiar cards to review each day. You wanna pace yourself a little bit. 
if you have a test or deadline coming up, you can set up the learning assistant to optimize the algorithm for your deadline. So we'll go through this, uh, say my test is on 13th. There we go. Now, Zorbi will help me learn this deck by January 13th. If you didn't like the intervals during the study session, then you can go into the space repetition section and select a different profile. We've got a few different profiles depending on what you're studying. I'd recommend casual if you're learning languages as a hobby. If you're in med school, this profile is a little bit more intense. If you don't know which one to use, I just stick to the general profile. It usually works for most people. And that's pretty much it. If you manage to build a sick study streak, make sure you send me a photo of your profile. I'm sure it'll look a lot better than this demo account I'm using right now. And if you want to dive deeper into some of the more advanced Zobi features, then you can find more videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.